Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So previously on our channel, we have made video on the review of this ROM. This time they have came up with the newest update running on Android 13, usage of version 3.5. This is an official build from the community itself and definitely they hold some new features and improvements. So introducing the project elixir of version 3.5 running on android 13. So without any further ado, let's get into it and see what all improvements and personalizations they hold. So at the very first time, let's move into system information. So talking about the system information, as you can see this is running on the latest build of Project Elixir on Android 13 with the latest security patch of January 5th and also on the kernel called as Kawaii. Also this Android 13 easter egg which is pretty much obvious. Including that you will get all the other features and the good news is that you will get a updater inside it. Using this you can easily update your ROM and just download it at the location you want and you can easily dirty flash it whenever you want it. So that's something really good they have implemented in this build. Now next up is about elixir customizations. So there is a column known as the essence where you will get all the customizations. You will get all types of customizations on this list view type of menu where you can select from the list view whatever you want and you can customize the way as per your preference. You can keep different types of icons, fonts and all the other signal icon style and many more. Again they have included the customizations which are crucial and which everyone can use without getting confused or without putting or bulking it much. So that's something really good. Status bar customization, lock screen customizations and all the other stuff works pretty much fine. Every feature you wish you can just customize it as per your preference and you are good to go. Moving inside miscellaneous you will get something called as the game space and some gaming option which we will talk about later in this video. So that all the customization you will get at one place in this essence section. Moving on the Android 13 generic setting then you will get the launcher settings where you can customize the icons, some themes and all the other settings without any issues. You will get all the options to customize from such as app drawer, icon style and many more. Moving further you will get all the widgets of Android 13. This famous widget which is of the clock one, you can just select any clock you want and you are good to go. Moving further, you can also have all the options of wallpaper style, monitor engine, some deeming and all the things at one place. So all the Android 13 generic options work pretty much fine and they don't have any type of issues. The ROM also comes with some predefined wallpapers to customize ROM but you can also download of your choice and can use as per your preference. So that's all about the customizations they have improved in this build. Now let's play some games that is about the gaming performance. So as I mentioned before in miscellaneous settings you will get something called as game space and unlock higher FPS. So moving towards that I have set BJMI mobile as my game, preferred mode as the performance and used angle as experimental. So as usual we will be playing BJMI on this ROM. So let's jump to the gameplay. So this is the TDM match which I am playing on my mobile and as you can see that the frame rate is getting counted on the extreme right side. The entire performance was pretty much good and you won't face any type of issues. I have played about 2 to 3 gameplays of BJMI and I didn't face any type of lag, jitter or any type of issues with it. Moving further is about the battery performance. So the battery performance on this ROM is pretty much decent and for me it's really good. You will get about 6 to 7 hours of screen on time once you charge to 100% and this battery performance is pretty decent taking consideration that is about 5 to 6 years old phone. 
so in terms of battery too you will get a decent performance and it will satisfy all your needs so you won't face any type of issues with respect to battery and yes this rom performs very good too now next is about safety net check or cts bypass so clicking on the safety net check application testing it and boom you will see that safety net check gets bypassed out of the box that means you can use all the finance and payment applications without any issues and you are good to go without routing your rom for any of the purpose of using banking applications so that's a big sub from alexa community now let's snap some photos that is alexa photography so talking about the cameras then they have mentioned and they have provided us with two camera applications which is the very simple that is the stock one and the another is the miui camera so this is the very simplistic camera where you will get limited features and limited customizations which is almost like you will not find it really useful and which is kind of okay to get your work done but on the flip side the good news is that they have also included the miui camera inside this you will get all type of customizations with respect to photography and videography too and you are good to set any type of custom settings you want and you will be getting a very good footage with respect to videos and photos so that's something really good talking about the video then you will get all type of resolutions in 60 and 30 fps up to 1080 pixel and 720 pixel you can also get 4k 60 fps for that you have to flash one type of file and you are good to go with it but you will be pretty satisfied with all the included settings in this camera applications and you are good to go to have some really crisp and good quality photos and videos you will get all the options you ever want and you won't face any type of issues with it going further i tried installing gcam of version 7.5 but after installation it was getting crash again and again so basically gcam as of now is not compatible with this build hope the developers notice this and fix this issue in the next build but either way there's not an issue because miui camera is something which will save you and will give you pretty good pictures and videos now let's move to security and direct sound in answer so talking about the security then yes you will get all the security options with respect to app security and google play protect including the good news is that you will get the face unlock which is the ir1 the face unlock works pretty much fast and good and as you can see this sensor blinking which shows that this is the ir face unlock little later but they have now also included the ir face unlock in all the android 13 builds so that's something really nice even the fingerprint unlock is pretty snappy and works pretty much faster so that's something really good talking about this sound then scrolling at bottom you will get me sound in answer or even called as the direct sound in answer you just have to enable that choose a headphone type and your equalizer or the preset of your choice and you are good to go enable hi-fi for more crisp sound and you will get quality sound from your rom which is pretty much good from the community now let's talk about some numbers that is Antutu scores. So looking at the Antutu scores then you will get a whopping score of 39,9320. So this score is still now the highest in all the Android 13 ROMs. Thanks to the Snapdragon chipset and all the performance parameters in terms of hardware. But this score is really really amazing. Though I don't rely much on numbers and also you must not but this number is really shocking and that really makes us believe that this rom is built something different and hold much more potential now it's time for conclusion and my final words so as per my recommendation then it's a big yes if you want to use this rom as a daily driver i have been using this rom for almost a week and as usual i use every rom for a week and then decide if you can use it as a daily driver or not so in my experience i haven't faced any type of issues and this is the official build from the community and definitely it have been improved from the previous build 
so from my side if you want to play games use for some simple task or work for day to day life or even for a little heavy usage then it's a big up from me and you can flash this rom without any issues and you are good to go with it so that's it for this video guys if you like this video must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming until then see you again in the next time till then happy flashing peace out